What's up you guys? Thank you so much for tuning in to another video here at Jen Gaga's World. Today I'm going to be using my new lovely Morphe Yvette XO. It's the box with all of her faves. And if you don't follow her already, definitely do so. She does have a YouTube channel for beauty and one for her vlogs with her lovely family. I don't know her personally, but I do love her, all her videos and just how real she is. And so if you're interested to see how I completed this look today, definitely keep on watching. <laughs> So I'm going to quickly do my face here. We'll make this quick just so you could get an idea of what it is that I typically do for makeup. And it really doesn't take me too long. Um, here I have the Bliss Text. I always put that on after I brush my teeth and shower and all that. I got this um, Clear Face Neutrogena. It's F, uh, SPF 55. Recently started wearing that. I never knew you needed to wear 50 plus. So again, I'm no expert. This is just me and how I go through life. But I recently um, started doing laser on my upper lip and they told me I need to make sure to wear that. So now here I'm going in with the Dewy Smooth. This is like my go-to. Depending on the time of year, I typically like to go with the more the matte during the summertime and um, because it's winter and you know your skin typically dries out, I go with the dewy in the winter. This is like my everyday, kind of everyday look and because I don't have much time to sit there and really glam up, I'm just... I don't really do glam often, um, but on the weekends, I sometimes like to go a little extra. So I'm a little bummed because I have these sponges that I had purchased a while back, and I want to say I bought them at Target, but they're like these little wedges, and I usually like to use them, you know, to apply my foundation. You're probably thinking, well, that's a waste of product. And normally those are really good quality. They don't waste much product. But I ran out and I've been using the same one for like a month now. And I'm like, okay, that's not, that's not clean at all. So I went to Walmart and I was looking for these dang wedges. And I saw these and I tried, you know, it's one of those packages. You can't really open it. So they look safe, bottom, and I'm... I could tell right away these are not the business because there's these are way too spongy it's like it's not I don't know it's just not applying it like I normally the other one applies it just much more smoother I feel like this one it's wasting it I do have my vanity mirror here behind the camera so I will be looking at that off Now I always want to make sure to blend out the neck area because there's nothing worse than going in and uh, forgetting that. And the neck's all pale. I also change, obviously in the summertime, you tan because of the sun. So in the winter I've been this, uh, what is this, 128 I believe? Yeah, 128 warm nude. And in the summertime I start to notice I go into the twos. I forgot what that number is. Okay, so next I'm going to use my um, concealer. This is the Born This Way concealer. I use Cool Medium. Other go-to. This is 
a little more because it's the weekend. I'm going to add a little bit more here. But my other everyday look is the Maybelline Fit Me also. I love the Fit Me line from Maybelline. I've used it for quite some time. Today I'm actually going to be using my brand new little package here, Yvette XO. If you don't follow her, definitely do. She's amazing. Um, this is her on the back. She has um, two channels that I follow. She has her makeup and beauty channel and then she has her um, vlog channel. So this is what it came with. It actually comes with the um, AT&T Truth or Bear Morphe palette. Um, it comes with its own little Morphe brush. This is the brush M452 and uh, uh, I believe this is a liquid eyeliner, yes, because it says for wings that don't suck, so with the eyeliner. And then we have the Morphe color pencil, it's called Makeup Talk, and uh, the Morphe lipstick in a matte honey color. So I really like those colors. Obviously, this is the first time I'm using it. Um, it also comes with the Ofra mini highlighter, which I'm excited because as I shared in my Omrizi video, we see this little highlighter to at least carry me through. I, I like small, compact highlighters that I could carry with me like if I'm at work and just want to touch up. So here's the Morphe palette, and I wanted to open this because I want to use the mirror. Look at how amazing this mirror is. And so this is the palette itself. It's a lot of nudes. And so I'm gonna go with the nude look today. And I'm gonna use this for the first time. So I'm super excited to share that with you all. But first we need eyebrows. Now I had thought about doing this off camera, but because everyone always asks, we're just gonna go ahead and go with it. I use Anastasia. I don't prefer this one. I actually like the Brow Wiz, the skinny one. This is a brow definer, but because this is what was in there, um, Ulta, um, you know, 21 Days of Beauty, I went with uh, this one because it's the one I had on sale. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my eyebrow. Okay, so they're not perfect yet, but this is a secret on how to make them look perfect. Just haven't had the chance to go and get them done. And that helps out. Now I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit and I'm taking my moist uh, beauty blender here that I already wet. I got this beauty blender on Black Friday as part of the BFF little packet. So basically I gave myself one and then I gave the other one to my best friend in her Christmas present. Um, I've never actually, I usually use Real Techniques and I don't really often use Beauty Blender, but, and you know, they're so expensive, but definitely you get quality because this Beauty Blender is one of the best that I've ever had and this video is not sponsored um, by any of these products, by the way. But this video, this, uh, this, Beauty Blender is by far my favorite because it definitely does not waste your product. Some of the, um, I've had like one time I bought one, a Beauty Blender at like Forever 21. It was cheap and I just wanted to see. Cause sometimes, you know, you'll get a cheap item and it's like really good quality. And other times, yeah, you get what you pay for. Like Morphe, Morphe started out a really um, inexpensive, uh, well, they are still pretty inexpensive, but you know, you would have never thought that you could get that great of quality makeup for that low of a price. So, you know, I didn't want to knock it because it was like a no name beauty blender. And oh my God, that thing, it got super big when I um, put the water on it and it only got worse as I, I started to try to, you know, clean up my, um, my or you know blend my concealer it was just all bad so 
I quickly learned not to waste my time on on those. So I've stuck to real techniques. And uh, like I said, this was a good cheap Black Friday sale and I always wanted to try the actual Beauty Blender uh, brand, so I did. And boy, have I been missing out. Okay, so this is where um, folks usually look crazy because it's like they're all like plain. Um, and this is where you start to bake. So I'm using, today I'm using the Hourglass, um, and it's, uh, what's it called? Translucent powder. Sorry, I'm like blanking right now. And uh, so what I'm doing, shaking it out because I, I'm starting to run out. I've been using the Fenty lately, and Fenty is really, really good product. Some of this looks choppy, it's probably because I'm editing it out. What I'm doing is just, normally people just apply it down here. I like to sort of set everything around, like where, especially my T-zone, um, I usually get really oily all in this area. And I don't go crazy with the Translucent powder. You're probably wondering why I'm doing that. And that's just because later on I kind of go in there and give myself a little bit of a contour. Not doing too much today. The first time I wore this uh, translucent powder, um, or first couple times I did, now I'm going in with this brush just to clean up. I don't really bake the eye area, I just do it just to kind of leave a smooth base. Um, but anyway, going back to my story, the first time I used uh, <laughs> this powder, I remember we were running late somewhere and like an event of some kind and I told my husband, don't worry, let's go, you know, I'll do the rest in the car. He was driving and uh, he's like, you see you have something on your face. I'm like, I know, I'm still doing my makeup. He goes, no, like on the sides, like sideburns. And I'm like, no, it's my baking powder, let's just go. <laughs> it was just funny because he was like, oh, all right, I guess. I'm like, don't worry about it. Just as long as it looks good when it's done, just don't worry about it. Like, trust the process. That's all I would say is trust the process. Now, if, you, if you're if you gonna see my brushes, do not judge my brushes. I haven't had a chance to um, clean them. So that's my goal this weekend, hopefully. I have time. So I'm gonna go in and use this palette here. I always like to start with the matte um, base just to kind of leave it all like, you know, cleaned up. So I'm actually going to go in with, I'm gonna go in with, I wanna make sure it's a matte. So I'll do Oh So Nude. Oh So Nude is this one right here. I'm just gonna put this all around the eye. Um, oh, that brush, by the way, uh, Morphe M441, and you see it's like a, it's smaller, because I have this one also that I go in with. This is the Morphe 511, and you can see how it's a lot thicker, but I love it for like the crease area. So for the crease, I'm going to use, I'm going to go in with, in, in the buff, uh, actually, no, I think I'm going to go in with, on the real, I'm going to stick with this color here. So that was the first one. I'm going to go in with this one here. And I'm going to apply that to my crease here. Okay, so here's my eyes. Okay. I'm going to, look to the corners actually going to use this is an elf brush I, for, I don't know if there's a name it just says blending eye brush I like to use this for the corners and for the corner I'm going to go with I'm going to go with spill it spill it is up here so we're gonna stick to the browns just apply just a little bit there
fine and it's lasted me and so i'm just gonna have to go with that just because it's less stress less ugh, you know just a mess now this is my favorite like all these brushes are my favorites like literally i use these like every day but this one is actually by b bella um it's the blender one oh gosh it's so like it's not old but it's just so I use it so much. It's like 155, 125. Once it and starts with the one, ends with the five. But B Bella. And they used to sell it here at um, Pinky Rose, which is quite local. Very close to me. And I'm sad because they don't sell it anymore. So I'm going to have to figure out where I can get the brushes. I'm sure I can go online. So what I'm doing is I take this one and I actually blend it out. And I bring it into my crease. So what I'm doing is I take this one and I actually blend it out and I bring it into my crease. Okay, so that was pretty much all I'm gonna do. Um, then I'm just gonna go in and clean up the edges here. Some people do the concealer and everything after. I do kind of backwards, I don't know. It's just, who, just it's the way I've always done it. There's really no rules, it's like art. Like you just play with it and go with it. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking the All Nighter. This is also my favorite. This is by Makeup, um, excuse me, Urban Decay. I'm gonna spray my brush here. And what I do, the reason I do that is because I like to pick up the shine to put in the middle. So I'm going to use, I think I'm gonna go with the True. I'll do um, Open Up open up is this one down here at the bottom so I just pat it a little bit and then just apply it to the eyelid now another way to make this pop and be a little bit more um, noticeable is you can actually put concealer or of course a base you can buy the little primer base primer base to me is too tacky though um, but if you have your concealer you can actually outline the shape of how you want it basically to apply but I don't need to do all that I just want it to be a little bit of a glittery glimmer all right so then what I do is I go back in and just kind of redo the center there just so that it could kind of blend it all together it doesn't look out of place I'm gonna get my big B Bella brush and I go back into it now the, that last brush I used was actually from my Naked palette and I just love it so I keep it in my dailies. So yeah, so it looks really pretty. I like the, the color and again this, these are the color options but I went with the nude colors. Really pretty, pretty. Actually I'm going to leave that here because I'm still going to need that. Okay. So next, I'm going to take off all that, all the uh, baking powder, I guess you can call it, but the translucent powder. Another one of my favorites on the translucent powder is Laura Mercier, or Mercier, however you want to call it, but I love her product as well. I haven't gotten hers in a little bit because I had the hourglass one I got for my birthday and then I got um, I had sampled the Fenty one okay so next I'm going in with um, this is my daily go-to this is by Milani and it's in 04 glow baked bronzer you can tell it's my favorite because I've had it for quite some time it's time to get a new one and this is store brand right here. Like I get this at Walmart. You can get it at like Rite Aid, Walgreens, like all those major retailers that sell makeup. You can find it there. I'm probably like, damn, do a lot of bronzer. Yes, I do. <laughs> Along with being bronzed. And again, I bring it all the way down. See how that automatically gives it like a different warm look. Oh, and this big brush, um, this is actually e.l.f. I want to say this is an e.l.f. brush. I love this. No, excuse me. This is Morphe. This is definitely Morphe. This one's e.l.f. This one here. Yeah, e.l.f. complexion brush. I like this one to help dust off the 
the um, translucent powder, but this is a Morphe one. See how nice and thick it is. I love, like I know a brush when I like a brush. Earlier I also touched my face with the Morphe um, M442 when I was just kind of dabbing to even out the uh, foundation. All right, so next, let's see. Oh, I need my, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the Rose de, Rose de Oro number two. This is also a Milani product. And you can see the color here. I'm going to take, this, is, this was a Be Bella brush, but as you can see, it unglued and it's fine because the with the, the length of the little palito, whatever you want to call it, palito means stick. Oh, I got the translucent powder on me. But anyway, that one, um, it was really long. So I wouldn't um, be able to fit it. So actually when it fell off, it, it was kind of a blessing in disguise. And so I don't put on too much of the blush. I just want it to kind of just even out skin tone. And I go into the hairline too, just because you don't want to look like your hairline sometimes looks crazy like that pale skin color. And yeah, I just want to blend it. All right, so I'm almost done. I like carrying my brushes in its own little packet. I'm gonna take my brushes and leave out the ones I still need. Uh-oh, dropped something, I don't know, figure it out later. All right, so pretty much that's done. Now what I'm gonna do is set my entire face. Oh, it's the best feeling in the world. Literally, I love that feeling. Now what I'm going to do is try my new, this is Rodeo Drive by Ofra, and it came in the Yvette XO palette. I haven't even looked at it in person. It's so pretty. Oh, it's a cute little compact mini highlighter. And ooh, look how cute. I think it has a film on the, yeah, it has a little film on the mirror, but look how pretty that is. Really pretty, really, really pretty. Oh my goodness, wow. Look at that, That's, I barely applied. So I have, have my highlighter brush here. This is a Morphe M438. It's not your average highlighter brush that you normally see, like the little fanned out one, but I love how this one works because it just, it's so smooth, really smooth, and I just like how, and it's perfect size for this especially. So I'm gonna do is take a little bit, dab it on there. you want to call it all right you're probably waiting for the best part eyeliner uh, actually you know what since I'm using the Avetic soap box let's try this one out so lollipop liner it's by beauty bakery it's really cute it's like a lollipop so let's give it a shot and see what this is about because normally I go with the Maybelline this is like my the, my favorite it's the stiletto I love that one this one's good too. I recently got it as a birthday gift in a pack um, one of my coworkers gave me, and it's the MAC Liquid Last Liner. It's amazing in the sense that it does not come off, but um, I don't like that it's bend. it bends. See how it bends like that? And that's hard for me. I need it to be hard, so let's see. This is pretty. Okay, yes, 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 felt it. Oh, 
We're probably like, wow. Pero ahí se va, like my mom would say, ahí se va. Okay, and then just do it one more time. The thing about it is, I feel like my eyes are shaped differently on both sides. So sometimes I feel like the eyeliner looks different. Like the, the wing comes out different, like it's not symmetrical. But it looks fine. All right, so that was that. The only thing left to do is get my lashes on. And I'm actually gonna do that off camera. And actually, let me do this. I'm gonna put on mascara. The lashes I will have to do off camera because I am not a pro at all. I'm putting on lashes. sort of doing mascara just to kind of run back through so that it attaches to your normal lash or your normal your natural lash there's nothing worse than seeing someone with lashes and then you see their lash separate at the bottom it's not cute Let me just put everything away. Now I'm just going to try this lovely color. Again, this is by Morphe and this is the Makeup Talk. Ooh, that's pretty and it went on real easy. It's like glides. Okay. Oh, you can see the black from the, the glue. I struggle with is I have really thin lips so I just try to line a little bit outside just to kind of get make them look fuller. I'm loving this color. So what I'm gonna do right now is just sort of fill in the color. That way it'd be like an ombre. And also so that if your makeup starts to wear off, then at least, I mean your lipstick, at least you still have color. And that's the one thing that I've been saying, especially to those um, close to me, is I want to get Juvederm, like lip injections. And I know it sounds real, oh, now because she has a channel, she wants lip injections. No, I've been wanting lip injections like before Juvederm was even a thing. I always felt that my um, lips were really thin. So now that there's options, why not? But it is a little pricey. So I mean, I have other priorities right now. So every time it comes to it, it's like I'll pick the Botox before I pick the, the lips. But one day, ooh, this is cute. This is the first time I purchased this type of Morphe lipstick. Look at that, it's all fancy. That's pretty. That's the M on the front. Now this is, um, honey. Okay. I haven't bought a lipstick like this in a while. My go-tos are Too Faced. 
wow, really pretty. It's not, you know, really dark and it's a natural color. So I don't know, I feel like the camera isn't picking up this look as nicely, but in the mirror, I feel like it looks amazing. I don't know. I also haven't used this brush yet, um, but I'll definitely make sure to bring it out on a future video. So I am going to go ahead and get up off this camera, but I hope you all liked it. Um, you can see my lashes are still kind of getting in there. You know, the glue is still visible, but it's okay. I'm not worried about that. It goes away. So if you like this look, definitely hit the thumbs up. I do appreciate to anyone that has recently joined my channel. I know I recently made this announcement and um, it feels good because, you know, I feel like it was, I was keeping it a secret for so long. People that I know, they're like, how did I not know about this? Like you have so many videos that I, they just didn't know because I didn't share it. So I appreciate those supporting me, those that have sent me kind words uplifting words keep going at it etc it's really helpful because it makes me want to continue to do it again so i'm going to go ahead and get up off of here um i will do an unboxing i know that i already used it but i'll also do an unboxing video and mainly because i want to be able to do all the swatches of these lovely co colors um and of course you already saw me use the lipstick but i'm going to put it back in this cute little case here starting with the palette oh. but I appreciate you all like I said if you liked this video please make sure to like share and subscribe and I'll be back soon bye